Hello everyone! Out of all the dungeons, you probably asked the most about the other side. Monsamdi's little corner of the Shadowlands. Where you be hiding all them Zandalari souls, Monsamdi? Give them to your boss man now! Or you gonna be sorry. Real sorry! So you can be sending them to the maw? No, no, no. Them is my people, Mazala. No way I go give them up. <laughs> you always be soft, one Sunday. Weak! Sooner or later you're gonna break. Then the jailer be getting his due. Wait, who? Heroes! <laughs> uh, no hard feelings about that little disagreement that we had in Zuldazar. <laughs> Mazala got me at a disadvantage. But if you collect me mojo from a few of me business partner, then together we could turn the tables on him. I be keeping this old Lua distracted. Go on now. Follow the path. And don't you be taking no for an answer. One Sunday should be someone that you're familiar with by now, especially since he played such a major part during Battle for Azeroth. With King Rastakan losing Razan, his Loa of Kings, a deal was then made with Bonsamdi, the Loa of Death. He would give King Rastakan the power he desired. In exchange, they would worship Bonsamdi. Not just a deal with this king, all those that succeeded him would serve Bonsamdi in life and in death. So, when King Rastakan was slain by the Alliance, the deal passed on to Talanji, the daughter of Rastakan. Not an allegiance she was entirely down with, not at first. But in the novel Shadows Rising, she came to realize that she was going to knee upon Samdi, but on her terms, not because she was forced. In that book, it's also the first time that we read about the Loa of Graves keeping all these souls out of the Maw and out of the hands of the Jailer. Then Muzala, he doesn't have a whole lot of story. He is another Loa of Death. The one who elevated Bon Samdi from priesthood into a Loa, and he's working together with the Jailer. His major role outside of the Shadowlands, that takes place in the Traveler series, which I've done a separate video on. Even then, his role is still a small one. And during Arden Wield, we got these hints, these bits and pieces, of him messing about behind the scenes, causing more troubles for the Winter Queen and the Zone. He is no friend of ours, so let's play Bounty Collector for Bon Samdi and get him back his mojo. No, he is a lower you might remember. <laughs> Haka always be needing mojo for his rituals, and Buen Samde always be willing to make a deal. Well, what you give me that look for? Sure, Haka be a lower blood, but a deal's a deal, man. Just get me mojo back. Hakar has been a threat to Ezra for quite a while, but here's of the world, they vanquished him. Twice even, and here in the other side, we see that he's still being worshipped by his Atalai followers. Sons of Akar love to focus on random party members, so take them out as quickly as you can, drop the debuff away from the group, and break his blood barrier. My mortal power was mine! <sighs> oh, Akar, you're my nasty one, but you've been making him pay him debt. Sooner or later, you're gonna be back. You can't keep a bad lower down. Me want them souls, Buen Sandy. Me want Rasta Khan and all the others on the lorry. It ain't wise to be holding out on Wazala. You're gone and forgot what it mean to be a Loa. Your bond with the people. The power you share. Ugh! The only power that counts be dead, and dead be coming for them all. You know, it don't just be trolls who be coming to ask for old Buen Samdi's help. All kinds be making deals with the lower of debt. Like these two crazy little gnomes here. They both be hungry for power. So me were more than happy to oblige. <laughs> but now, um... Maybe needing that mojo back. It's almost like we're back in Mechagon. Millhouse and Maleficent Manastorm, they struck a bargain, but one question that does pop up is whether or not they're dead. Hakar is easy to figure out as we vanquished him, and this is Bonsamdi's corner of the afterlife. Yet at the same time, we've also shown how easy it is for mortals to travel into the Shadowlands. I'm not entirely sure 
But the last line of Isardis 2, there will be in Legion, where Millie was quite pissed off at Millhouse. Maybe they were the ones that helped each other into the Shadowlands. What have we here? That dusty old Loa has sent debt collectors already? But I haven't had his mojo long enough to create my masterpiece. Wait, you made a deal with one zombie too? I knew you took shortcuts in your shoddy work, Millhouse, but this is a new low! Well, I, uh, uh... Hey, hold on a minute! You just admitted to doing the same thing I did! Hypocrite! Has been! The area that we fight them in, that is called the Brainstormium, where they unleash their staggering magic and experimental technology against us. Millhouse summons crystals, whose beam you want to stand in so they don't reach him. Well, Millie, she unleashes explosive chickens that you want to disable before they take you out. A nice touch is the design of the room, and I only noticed this during the recording. There are actually two paintings of the gnomes that are hanging in a workshop. One is clearly more loved than the other. This one will You're drag the you best, nuts. Millie! Let's never fight again! For a while, at least. True love. Now ain't that sweet. <laughs> Old Buan Samdi had his share of romance back in the day. <laughs> More than his share. Don't be forgetting who made you a loa, Buan Samdi. Now give me them souls and kneel before your master. That was long ago. But me remember. Remember how the truths be turning away from you? All them sacrifices, all that blood, how they were gonna... Ah! We don't need worshippers. The jailer gonna give me all the power I need. And Buan Samdi the one who gonna be forgotten. Now old Buan Samdi don't just be making deals on Azeroth. Brokers be looking for power too. All kind of power. This one ain't gonna wanna give me back my mojo. So careful now. She's tricky. Dealer's Ayaxa is a cunning equationist, wielding an array of magical contrivances that she has collected over the millennia. She relies on spatial manipulation to stay one step ahead of the innumerable enemies that she's made in her dealings. Apparently, her favorite place to hang out in that is something that looks like Arden Wields. Hold this a moment. She has badass abilities with a massive beam you want to avoid, patches on the ground that shoot you up into the sky, bombs that, if you're the one that gets to hold it, you want to make use of those patches, explode away far from your party. Then, when she casts explosive contrivance, the entire party will have to fly. Now, we spoke about this during the story of Ouroboros, but these brokers, they're super intriguing, since we don't know a whole lot about them. But the more that we find out, the more we should be worried. You strike a, a, a hard bargain. Them brokers be up to something. You best be keeping an eye on them. Now hurry back with me, Mojo. As we gather more of his mojo, gather more of his power, Bonsamdi's domain starts to light up. But Muzala is not paying attention to the trap that's closing in around him. <laughs> These little friends of yours think they're gonna help you, Bonsamdi. What chance you'll be having against me? It be Muzala who brought Helia to the jailer's side. Struck a deal for old Odin's eye and made the Banshee War chief, with a whisper. You think you're one boss man? <laughs> Maybe you've been skulking in the shadows for too long. <laughs> Come on now, heroes. Bring the mojo back and help me put this whole lower in in place. Muzella is giving a whole lot of credit for things that have happened. Things that are related to the Shadowlands. Old Odin's eye that calls back to the time where Keeper Odin was looking for a way to ferry the souls of Worthy Vrykul up to his Halls of Valor. Through a ritual, he made contact with the Shadowlands, sacrificed one of his eyes to see the domain, to learn about the Valkyr. You have to wonder, if Odin was able to peek into the Shadowlands, was the Shadowlands able to look back? 
and it turns out that the one that Odin was dealing with, it was actually Muzala. Hell yeah, to the jailer side. That is something that we first see during a Ma introduction, but you have to wonder exactly how long Hell yeah has been working with Team Jailer. Did this start after we defeated her in Legion? Or was she already in league with them when she worked with Sylvanas? If that's the case, then the whole plot with the Banshee Queen getting a soul cage, a soul cage in order to try and enslave a year, enslave the ability to create more Valkyr, all of that actually came from Muzala and the Jailer. And then make the Ben Chief War Chief with a whisper. That explains why War Chief Vol'jin heard the spirits whisper a name, why he appointed her to be the next War Chief to then lead the Horde into the war of battle for Azeroth. We actually got in touch with Vol'jin to ask him oh, what the heck he was thinking. But back then, the Shadowlands, it kept his mysteries hidden. Now we know that it was Muzala, and by extension the Jailer, who manipulated these events. Quite a naughty god of death, in the midst of a struggle to be the true god of death. We'll have to make sure that Bonsamdi emerges victorious. And this fight, it's actually really, really cool, as at first, you'll have to do a little dance. You want to avoid his massive slam in melee range, and his cast on the left and on the right. Listen to what he yells or look at his body to see where you need to stand. Then he will shatter reality, which would instantly wipe us out, but Bonsamdi has our back opening up portals away from the devastation, where a shattered visage of Muzala needs to be taken down as they protect the Prime Valkross totems. Totems which shackle Bonsamdi in place. Using his mojo, we can release a fragment of his power to aid us in bringing down Muzala. There be no escape in death. No, you're just mortals. How this be? Times change, man. Mortals never be as weak as you believed them to be. You see, they have potential. But don't you be worrying about a thing. You're gonna be having plenty of time to learn from your mistakes. <laughs> you did good, heroes, yeah. But what Mozilla got coming, yet for mortal eyes. <laughs> Take your trinkets and be gone with ya! That be some big talk, one Sunday. But you be nothing before the jailer. You better watch your tongue, little thing. One Sunday, the boss man now. I'm sure that Bonsamdi and Muzala will have a grand old good time together, which will play out in a future Covenant campaign. For now, that's going to be our end of the adventure into the other side. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time, see ya!